I think these families try to find meaning out of that experience. A major assumption was that having a child with autism was a stress. And if you ask families about some of the positive effects, you see some of the resilience, how they, for example, appreciate the smaller things. They derive great satisfaction from seeing their son or daughter make one small step. I'm Gail Orsmond. I'm an associate professor in occupational therapy and director of the Families and Autism Research Lab at Sargent College. We've been conducting a longitudinal study of families of adolescents and adults with autism. Ten years ago, we started the study with 400 families. We've been interviewing the mothers roughly every 18 months. We're interested in two overarching goals. One is how does autism change over time through adolescence and adulthood? And secondly, what is the long-term impact on the family? One of the things that we have found is that the repetitive behaviors tend to decrease over time in adulthood. So it's as if the person with autism mellows to some extent. It's really behavior problems that tend to disrupt families' lives more so than anything else. There were a lot of siblings talking about how having a brother or sister with autism had helped them appreciate human differences more, so they were more accepting of all types of differences. Some siblings talked about needing to take on more responsibility in family life. Sometimes they talked about feeling like they needed to be always on good behavior to counteract their brother or sister. In adulthood, some siblings have told us they have gone into health or education or caring professions because of their experiences with their brother or sister with autism. Other siblings um, have said they want nothing to do with that because that has been their whole life. So they really want something different in their work lives. Another thing siblings say they make choices about romantic partners based on the extent to which that person accepts their brother or sister with autism. So that is of great importance to them. I think the work that I do is important. In terms of basic information about autism and thinking about autism in adulthood, and I think we're getting to a point where we're understanding some of the complexity about families' lives and which factors matter and how we can best support families to thrive and lead fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm.